Hello friends. Welcome to Supreme Education. We are going to learn the very famous and the most important theorem that is Pythagoras theorem. You have already solved various examples by using Pythagoras theorem in previous 2 years. But in this lesson we'll prove Pythagoras theorem. Statement of this theorem is in a right angled triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides now the very first step to prove any theorem is to draw proper diagram now here we have to draw one right angled triangle now here is our required diagram this triangle abc which is right angled at point b means triangle abc is a right angled triangle now here given will be In triangle ABC, angle ABC equal to 90 degree. Next step is to write to prove. For that, read the statement again and carefully. We have to prove the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of remaining two sides. Now, what is hypotenuse? Hypotenuse means the side opposite to right angle is called hypotenuse. Now, in triangle ABC. Angle B is 90 degree, or angle ABC equal to 90 degree. Hence, the side opposite to right angle is nothing but side AC. Means AC is the hypotenuse of triangle ABC. And we have to prove square of the hypotenuse means AC square is equal to sum of squares of remaining two sides. The remaining two sides are AB and BC, and their sum of squares will be AB square plus BC square. Hence, we have to prove AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Means to prove is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. To prove this, we have to do one construction. That is, we have to draw one perpendicular segment. That is, segment BD on side AC. Segment BD on side AC, which is already drawn in this diagram. It is of construction and A dash D dash C means construction will be draw perpendicular segment BD on side AC and A dash D dash C draw perpendicular segment BD on side AC or on or on hypotenuse AC and A dash D dash C. Now we'll move towards last part of this process that is proof. In previous video, we have learned one theorem about similarity and right angle triangle. The statement of that theorem is: In a right angle triangle, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse, then the two triangles formed are similar to each other and similar to the original triangle. Now, same figure is here also. Here is right angle triangle ABC, which is right angle at point B, and altitude is drawn. That is, segment BD is perpendicular to the hypotenuse. Now, because of this altitude or segment BD, the whole triangle ABC is divided in two parts. That is, triangle ADB and triangle BDC. And by using the statement of that previously proved theorem, we can write these two triangles are similar to each other and similar to the original triangle. Hence, these three triangles, that is, triangle ADB is similar to triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. Hence, we'll get this statement, that is, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB, similar to triangle BDC. Means these three triangles are similar to each other. Reason will be similarity of right angle triangles. Now, out of these three triangles, we take two triangles here as similar, that is, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. ABC means whole triangle. ABC is similar to triangle ADB. But while writing these names, you have to take care about the correspondence between vertices. Names of the two triangles should be according to the correspondence between the vertices. Now here point A is written first since it is a common angle of both these two triangles. Therefore A is written first. Then angle B and angle D 
are written since angle B is right angle for force triangle, triangle ABC and angle D means angle ADB is right angle for this triangle is common angle is taken first then right angle and then remaining later this is correspondence between vertices of these two triangles if you write these names accurate then there will not be any difficulty while writing the ratios now see these two triangles are similar therefore their corresponding sides are in proportion now, from these names of these two triangles we can write the ratios of their corresponding sides that is AB upon AD AB upon AD is equal to BC upon DB BC upon DB is equal to AC upon AB AC upon AB reason will be corresponding sides or CSST that is corresponding sides of similar triangles which are in proportion now out of these three ratios we will take only two ratios which are having same side that is AB upon AD means first ratio and AC upon AB means third ratio since these two ratios are having same side that is AB AB means numerator of first ratio and denominator of second ratio are same these are the some points that we have to keep in mind while proving such theorems this we have to take two ratios which are having same side as common therefore by cross multiplication we will get AB into AB that is AB square is equal to AD into AC AB square is equal to AD into AC that is statement number one now we'll take another pair of similar triangles out of these three that is triangle ABC and triangle BDC triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC again this whole triangle ABC and triangle BDC that is yellow colored triangle again we have to write the names of these two triangles according to the correspondence between vertices C of angle C angle C which is taken last later which is common angle for these two triangles angle B and angle D which are right angles for these two triangles and first letter is the remaining letter see again C is the common angle B and D are the right angles and the first letter is the remaining letter this is correspondence between vertices of these two triangles now since these two triangles are similar to each other therefore their sides are in proportion that is AB upon BD is equal to BC upon DC is equal to AC upon BC reason will be corresponding sides or CSST that is corresponding sides of similar triangles again out of these three ratios we have to take two ratios which are having same side as common now find out these two ratios which are having same side as common can you find yes yes these are the two ratios which are having same side as common that is second ratio and third ratio which are having bc bc as common is taking these two ratios here we'll get bc upon dc is equal to ac upon bc since bc is the common side for these two ratios again by cross multiplication we'll get bc into bc that is bc square is equal to dc into ac BC square is equal to DC into AC that is statement number 2 now statement number 1 is AB square is equal to AD into AC statement number 2 is BC square is equal to DC into AC now adding these two statements now addition means left hand side plus left hand side is equal to right hand side plus right hand side this will get AB square plus BC square AB square plus BC square is equal to AD into AC plus DC into AC AD into AC plus DC into AC out of these two terms that is AD into AC and DC into AC you can take AC as common AC as common if we, by taking AC as common we'll get AC into bracket AD plus DC AC into bracket AD plus DC now find out AD and DC in diagram here is our AD and DC by adding AD and DC we will get AC means AD plus DC is nothing but 
AC. Therefore, we can replace this bracket that is AD plus DC by AC. This is post AC as it is and replacing AD plus DC by AC will get AC into AC since A dash D dash C. Therefore, we will get AB square plus BC square is equal to AC into AC that is AC square. Hence, we have reached up to AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Means, we have proved Pythagoras theorem. Thank you.